So Ayurveda teaches us that gut health, like I said, is the center of all health. And if you think of it like a gut digestive fire, think of it also like a campfire. So if you went camping, you would build a campfire so you can stay warm, so you can have a place to cook your food. And that campfire is to be maintained and tended to. And you build that campfire very intentionally. Small twigs, medium twigs, large twigs, diversity in how you build mm -hmm. it, just like we have diversity of the gut microbiome. And so building your gut is the first step, which is great probiotics, great fiber, really addressing any gut health issues. I'm a big fan of people doing stool tests and seeing what's wrong with their gut. I do those every two, three years. And then mm. I see, oh, you caused a new problem. Let's address it and get, get that fixed again. So I'm constantly aware of my gut health and making sure there's no parasites, no dysbiosis, no big issues where there's imbalances in the microbiome itself. So that's part one, building that great fire. Now, once you've built it, once you have it, you still have to maintain it. It's easy mm. to put a fire out. Any type of surgery, trauma, big life events, huge life stressors can just put out the fire. And then all of a sudden you need to rebuild and build up that microbiome and that health again. So daily practices from Ayurveda are actually the best way to help tend to the fire, support the fire, and maintain the fire throughout the day. And so mm. one of those that we teach is called using a tongue scraper. A copper tongue scraper from mm -hmm. Ayurveda is a simple tool. It's pretty much free. You buy this thing once for 10 bucks and then it lasts your whole life. But you gently scrape the tongue 7 to 14 times every morning. And what that does is on the tongue, all the organs of the body are reflected. Just like in reflexology, all the organs mm -hmm. of the body are reflected on the bottom of the foot. So in Ayurveda, we look at your tongue. We want to know, are there any red patches, serrations? Is there a white coating? That white coating indicates ama or toxins and toxin residues that have accumulated in our body over time. And so your job is gently scrape the tongue every day to ignite the digestive fire, clear that white coating, detox all the organs of the body, and support yourself to be healthier. Another great tool we have is either hydrating with room temperature water that sat in a copper cup overnight, or if you're high copper or worried about heavy metals, having something like ginger lemon tea first thing in the morning. Ginger is a very powerful spice for digestive health. We know that because if you're nauseous or unwell, you reach for ginger. But in the same way, it's a warming spice. And so it's very good in the morning to ignite that fire, just get it going. So I have ginger lemon tea in the morning, especially if I went out on Friday night, maybe I had wine or anything inflammatory, my system's mad. I will have ginger lemon tea on purpose the next day just to reset the system. And the mm. lemon will alkalize the system as well. So it's really going to mm. support your body. Do you um, um do yeah. you do you use like fresh ginger and lemon or do you use like a tea bag? So in Ayurveda, we prefer everything fresh, everything mm. from Mother Nature, organic, clean, the best you can source it. But I am completely understanding that we live in modern day times. So a lot of times I carry solutions in tea bag forms. I'll travel with ginger tea as, as a tea bag. I'll travel with peppermint tea. I'll travel with all these things because we need to keep things easy and doable as well. I prefer that people do things over trying to have perfection. Mm.